My name is Gilbert Khalil. I just turned 65 in this past December. I live in Danville, California. As a consequence of my annual physical with my regular physician, they found that my PSA level has been consistently going elevated over the course of the last couple of years. I ended up going to a urologist in, in our area to perform some tests. I found out that I had cancer after all the biopsies were done. We, we just kind of sat there stunned. I had no idea in my wildest dream that I would have cancer. At first, it's a shocking experience. It just kind of takes you back. And we just looked at each other and we said, everything will be okay. The doctor said, well, here, here are your options. Uh, think about it. So we went home and we thought about it. At that point in time, my wife and I decided that we needed to get some second opinions or perhaps even third opinions. Within less than a business day, I had an appointment set up with Dr. Gonzalo. I came to Stanford, met with him. We probably spent an hour and a half with my wife and I chatting about our options. Sometimes we can't predict who's going to be. Well, we discussed everything from active surveillance uh, to radiation therapy uh, to seed therapy. We talked about both the open procedure and the robotic procedure. I was instantly relieved after meeting Dr. Gonzalo. We left the hospital and Gil and I just looked at each other and we said, this is this is where we're meant to be, and this is the process we're meant to take. The most important thing we talked about was cancer control. For me, there was no question that the robotic technology was the only way to go. And in the hands of, of a great surgeon, such as Dr. Gonzago, it was going to be a win-win situation. The robotic system is one in which we can operate in three dimensions at great magnification. We actually use high-definition uh, visualization and optical technology with the robot. One of the differences that patients are probably most familiar with are having to do with the smaller incisions associated with laparoscopic or robotic surgery. There is certainly less blood loss associated with robotic surgery. Patients will complain of less pain uh, following robotic surgery as a result of the smaller incisions. Recuperation or postoperative recovery is also less. Technology is of no consequence unless it's in the hands of the right person. And in this case, I knew that we were going to be in good hands and somebody with a tremendous amount of experience. Uh, he's done a lot of them. So I went through some prep work before we arrived at the surgery location. It was out like a light and I woke up many hours later. The first thing I saw was my wife and she had a big smile on her face. Dr. Gonzalo walked in and he had a big smile and I just smiled and wrapped my arms around him and said, thank you, you saved my husband's life. You healed up very nicely. The recovery process was very quick. It's wonderful, so. More importantly, they did not touch any of the nerve endings the men worry about. You look great. During our first uh, three-month checkup, he was cancer-free and remains that way to date. Uh, he was also able to very quickly recover his urinary control uh, and also sexual function. I, I gained it back, it's working. <laughs> Within four weeks, I was back to work. Within just a few weeks after that, I was already walking and a little bit of running, and now we can move on with the rest of our lives.